The warm summer months are leading to a rise in valid fever cases. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez spoke with an Inland Empire teen who found himself battling the airborne infection despite being in tip-top shape. Oh my gosh. They... A happy moment between a family and their doctor. One they worried might not happen after 17-year-old Marcos Nava developed a dangerous case of valley fever. So I could tell something was wrong because it felt like somebody was like standing on my chest and like every time I would breathe it would like hurt. A high school wrestler, Marcos was in peak physical condition, so he knew breathing problems must mean something serious. In late April, his mother rushed him to the emergency room at Loma Linda University Children's Hospital. We ended up having to stay in the hospital. We were there for 28 days. He had to have two chest tubes put in, a pick line, um, tons of lab work, x-rays. Doctors determined he had a partial collapsed lung. At one point, they put a chest tube in through his back. An agonizing month for this family from Barstow. I couldn't breathe really, and then I had like a cough and I was throwing up. Honestly, a lot of nights was just kind of staying up. Even though we had doctors there, just making sure he was good. And you know, the last thing you want to do is be scared for your kid <laughs> because then They'll see that you're scared, so it was just really just being strong, being there for him, making sure he was comfortable. Nearly a year ago, stomach problems led to Marcos's initial diagnosis of valley fever, but his mom says she was told his infection was essentially dormant. Well, Marcos's case of valley fever is not common. Doctors here at Loma Linda University Children's Hospital say they are seeing valley fever show up more often. It is the beginning of the peak season for valley fever is when the dry weather comes in. Dr. Alvaro Galvis is the division chief of pediatric infectious disease. He says cases are up nearly three times the average this year, including cases where children end up in intensive care. We're averaging about two to three cases per month this year alone. Uh, to just to compare with last year in 2024, where we're averaging less than one case per month. He says valley fever is a fungal infection spread through the air. During the wet season, it lives as a mold, so you can actually see it under the dirt. And then they, as the weather conditions dry out, they create these spores. You breathe that in, and it usually causes primary pulmonary coccidium mycosis, known as valley fever. He says it presents with cough, fever, body aches, breathing problems, and sometimes a rash. And wind events help spread the infectious spores. As for prevention, he has three pieces of advice. And if you're going to do gardening and move the soil, go ahead and win an N95. Second thing would be if there's a lot of wind, indoors is your safest place and use air filters to make sure you can get rid of those spores that are in the air. Third, if you get, ever get a lot of dirt in your clothes, make sure you remove that clothes instead of walking around the house carrying the, 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 the spores that can spread through the rest of the families. Now that Marcos is out of the hospital, he's working to get back on the wrestling mat. He'll be to wrestle and go to state this year. I just want him to get back to like his normal self. I mean, He's really athletic, so I know he's going to get there. So he can wrestle for his team and not with his health. Rick Montanez, KCAL News.